I started my company, and to me, you're a company. Right. You're an entrepreneur. You're somebody who's doing something on your own. Right. I started my company, and even today, which is 15 years later, I still don't feel like I'm there. Yeah. I still don't feel like I've, I still want more. Do you feel that? Yeah, man. Every, every, every day, every, you know, my manager will come and show me stuff like, hey, look what, look what happened this week. Like, look what you did this week. Like, but you know, it's not enough. What's the drive for you? I don't know. You know, there's a lot of different drives. Um, my love of music is the main one. You know, I just love to make music. I love to express myself and, uh, you know, just be who I am and keep on rocking. And the second is, is for the fans. Do you, do you ever get a fear of, I don't have enough ideas? Do you ever think to yourself, like, what's the next one? Right. Well, I mean, you know, I, I thought that way for a long time and so did everybody else. It was like, oh, one hit wonder, you know, whatever. And then, you know, we put out the new album and shout out to Quavo and Metro and we made congratulations. And, you know, that's bigger than White Iverson mm -hmm. has been. And, you know, I guess the next, I guess you just got to keep on pushing yourself to make, think that, that you're a one hit wonder or whatever. And just take that and, you know, just make something that can prove people wrong. Do you have, so take that, so as an example, I don't have many friends. Me either. Okay, so hopefully we'll be friends. <laughs> um, but if I take that as an example, and I think of all the people that have been, and haters is too, it's too used, it's just people don't want you to succeed. Do you exactly. feel that? Yeah. Everywhere. It's everywhere. In every aspect. Do you get motivated by that? Yeah. No, it. Then if you don't like me, that's cool. I got hella people that do, yeah. and they love me, and I love them, and they're going to take me, and then we're going to just it on you. What happens if the label says we don't like the song? Fuck it. Those who say that uh, if you're good at one thing, stick with it. Right. So what happens when you start moving into a different direction? So if you're, in, if you're good in hip-hop, what happens when you start moving? Do you think about that side or? Yeah, you know, it's tough. There's been time, like I wanna make a, I wanna make an acoustic album. Mm. I wanna make a thrash metal album. I wanna make a bunch mm. of different um, You know, and I'm just waiting until everything is right because, because you know, like, not only do you have an obligation to yourself, but you have an obligation to your fans. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna throw something crazy out mm -hmm. there, not, like, not that, that, that weird. I might make it, I might make the song, but who knows whenever it's coming out. So what's the next joy for you? What's coming next? I'm working on a new album. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Mm -hmm. um, How'd you get the name? I figured, you know, I'm a simple man. I'm a very simple man, I love beer. I like cars, I like I like video games, and that's really it. So it's just like kind of like a culmination of everything, and it's just like really- Where you've come from and where you're going, exactly. but you're holding both? Exactly, you know, because you can't change who you were. It's mm -hmm. always gonna be there, you know, whether you like it or not, you know? Tell me about performing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about, uh, for example, South by Southwest. Yeah. What was that like for you? I did like 14 shows in like three days. Um, it was crazy. I had like three songs out, not even maybe. When White was Iverson. this? This is March 2015. And White well, Iverson wasn't out yet. It, it had just came out. Okay. Yeah, it had come out a month before and then I went there and um, people came to see me. It was dope. Like my whole experience was really motivating because I was expecting dead shows. Mm. Cause I've played hella dead did, shows. Did they know who you were? Yeah. Off of, off of White Iverson, I think Tears was out yeah. at that time. It was incredible. Cause I, I had just put out a song. I, I put, out, put out the song and I went to bed. And then I woke up and Wait, it was put going out, crazy. Put, hold on, first put out the song means what? In respect to where you were at that SoundCloud. time. Okay. Shout out to my man, Fat Man Key. I love you, Key. Um, he posted the song, 
And you know, he's always been a musical inspiration for me. But he had posted a song, and then from that, Wiz Khalifa yeah. and Mac Miller both heard the song and they, they loved it, and then they tweeted it, and then from there it just snowballed into here. What did your friends think? What did everyone, were people calling you? Were they? Yeah, hell yeah, my friends, it took a little while for my friends to call me, but um, nobody wanted me to put out the song. Mm. Why? They, they said, you have to wait. You have to wait and we're gonna do all this. We're talking to the labels, we're talking to all this. They heard the song, blah, blah, blah. We need to wait until we can roll it out to the blogs, blah, blah, blah. And I just, one day I just said, fuck it. Was it your, at that time, was it just your decision? Yeah. Okay. I said, fuck it. I'm, I'm making my, I made my own cover art on Photoshop. I put it on SoundCloud. Yourself. It, myself, everything myself. I made the beat, I made the art. I, I put that song out and then, you know, here I am today. In high school, what were you like? What did people think of you? How did they look at you? What did you think of your even of yourself? Um, so in middle school, I wore a suit to school every day. I wanted to be like my dad. Yeah. I slicked my hair back every day. I got picked on all that. And you middle, wore a tie? No, not a tie. But you wore a jacket. I wore. I wore. I wore yes, yeah, so I wore. I wore jackets. Yeah. I had collared shirts, slacks, nice shoes. Yeah. I was a weirdo. No one else did that. But I think everybody has one of those in every school. There's just that one kid. What would your parents say? <laughs> that was awesome. I yeah. wanted to be my dad so bad. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's the same time that I picked up the guitar. Yeah. So I picked up the guitar. I kind of grew up a little bit. Um, I started playing, learning. I learned from Metallica and Megadeth and everything. Like my dad was real into metal and rap and and all that stuff, so kind of everything started like bubbling, like the cauldron started bubbling. And so I thought, I thought that I was going to be the classy guy, and but then I started getting into skateboarding and, and guitar playing and, and being a little hood rat, hoodlum guy. And was your dad around. supportive? Yeah, he was with anything. You yeah. Know? My dad, my, my mom, my, my stepmom, Jody, always have been super supportive. From the beginning of my career, and then to where I am right now, it's just growing and getting bigger and better, and I'm getting better and smarter and learning, but you have to continue, mm. you know? And that's what makes you, I think that's what makes you self-made is because at the end of the day, it's not gonna be about anybody else, mm -hmm. it's gonna be about yourself. So if you're happy with what you've done, then you can die happy, you know what I mean?